everybody, Crusher Callan here, and today I'm playing Ark Survival Evolved. And in this episode, we are going to be taming yet another of the new dinosaurs added to Ark in patch 258, which is the Utyrannus. So, we, you find them all the way out snow, and you knock them out and you tame them with me, or... What was their kibble? Kentro. Kentro kibble, that's right. So yeah, um, since you can't pick them up with a quetzal or anything, we're going up there on our T-Rexes to knock one out and tame it, and we're going to bring it all the way back. So... Now we're hoping for what gender is it? A male, so we can breed it with our female we already have. Which I'll show you after we have tamed another one. Yeah. So... Yeah, today I'm playing with Jub Jub or Zapdos and Heatho. Heatho won't be talking in the video. He'll just be helping us to tame the Utyrannus. And as you can tell, my Rex is fully grown up. Yep, his mutated Rex is fully grown. Alright, so now um, I'll lead the way and we'll walk up to towards the snow. So, we're going... Up to the snow, which is up here, and we are currently down here, so it's a long walk all the way through here, all the way up there, but it's not that bad. Rexes are pretty fast, they can get around pretty quick, so it doesn't usually take more than, I don't know, 10 minutes maybe. Alright, so, not even. I'll lead the way, let's go. So, you're going to need a crossbow, or whatever you're using to knock out the Tyrannus, and train carrows or darts if you're using a um a long neck and you're gonna need to like go up there with something that can actually protect it because like i said you can't pick them up with a quetzal and just take it back so you have to tame it where it is and bring it all the way back so yeah um we've got a squadron of three which is usually pretty good um when we tamed our other one, there were actually four of us. Zapdos was on his Thylacleo, and we were all on T-Rexes. And so, yeah, we did pretty well up there. So, they spawn in the snow. Um, I haven't seen them anywhere else yet. Well, um, you can find them on, like, the mountains that are right next to snow. Yeah, but I've never seen them there, so... I'm stuck on this rock. So yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna take us a little while to get up there, but once we're up there, um, I'll start recording again, and hopefully we'll find a high high enough level to breed with male Utyrannus. And also, um, last time it was a kind of a bit of a annoying, because there was actually a Giga <laughs> in the snow. <laughs> yeah, um, we thought three 200 level or 200 plus T-Rexes and a 240 plus Thyla no, 260 plus Thyla could take out a level 25 Giga didn't go well <laughs> we, we all nearly, nearly yeah, we all nearly died and we didn't the Giga didn't even have blood so or didn't even show blood so why are Giga's are OP? <laughs> didn't go too well and then, and then when you tame one, we've had, we've actually had one before. It's absolutely terrible. So, <laughs> I did thirty-four well, damage. Well, well done, devs. <laughs> All right. Well, so um, we're gonna keep heading to the snow. We'll be right back once we are there. Preferably yep. once we've actually found the Utyrannus. They're a pretty common sight there. So, we'll be right back. And we're back, and we found a level 145 male Utyrannus, which is even higher than the level that we found just two days ago, I think it was. But, there is one bad thing about this. There's a Giga nearby. <laughs> and he's level running 15. straight towards him. Oh, look, yeah, see, see him over there? That That's the Giga. He's not friendly. Now he's gone for a swim. Right, we're just going to keep shooting at him. Don't worry about the Giga. Oh my goodness, what's this Utah doing? <laughs> keep going. In the water. 
Yeah, don't wanna get it knocked out in the water. That Giga! What is it? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I just heard the whistle of your arrows, Zapdos. Do you reckon we could knock it out here? Or do you reckon it would drown? How? I mean, it I is really above check. the water. How deep is this? Oh, it's very deep water. Hello. It's not that deep. It's not actually that deep. Heatho. Heatho. Stand away. <laughs> well, I suppose we could keep shooting it and hope that it, like, falls onto the ice or whatever. Alright, shoot it now, because it's. I think it's on the land. I've run out of ammo. Alright, it's on the ground, so start pelting it. I've run out of ammo. Because I gave some to Zapdos, so. Let's hope that Giga doesn't come. He looks like he's stuck at the moment. If we have to, I suppose we can try and lead him away. But I don't want it to come to that. Oh, my crossbow just broke. Oh, it's up to you, Zapdos. Yeah. Headshots don't work on this thing. You don't register. <laughs> Ooh. Look at that thing. Goodness gracious me. Do you reckon three T-Rexes could take a 15 on? 10 levels and lower than the 25? <laughs> Definitely not. Oh god, <laughs> lag. Yeah, I think it's... It's oh, a whoa. flying fish. What? what? Whoa! Th there's flying fish. Hello? <laughs> Um, ha, um, I'm gonna die. It's, it's lagging. Lag? Lag or? The fish is gone. <laughs> Alright. We'll just knock this guy out and. So we're gonna be taming with raw meat and prime meat. Oh, mine is not out yet, is it out? How, could you imagine how much prime meat we'd get from killing that Giga? And how much we'd be able to feed it to the Utyranus? Yeah, Keep but we wouldn't be able to kill that thing. You don't reckon? Might have to lead him away. I feel like he's gonna drown. No, I don't think so. Because he's not swimming at the moment. He should be getting not. He should be getting unconscious soon. Soon. No, he's a nice big. color. He's like black and he's got like blue. Well, stop moving. I'm trying to get headshots. I feel like I'm about to kill him. To be honest. Mm, I reckon you'll knock him out first. Only a few more shots and he should be knocked out. This is gonna take a little while to tame. They do take a while. He is getting bloody though, isn't he? Incredible bloody. Although the other one was kind of like that. Oh, down he goes. Oh, oh wow. No. <laughs> yep, underwater. He's under yeah, he's... the sea. Presumably he's drowning? Nope. Kill that piranha! Can't see it. I'm gonna die. <laughs> One's helping what? me. <laughs> Oh, the piranha just committed suicide. I'm not even joking, I'm so close to dead. How is this dude not drowning? Is he? No, he's not drowning. <laughs> and he's underwater. Th that that's just doesn't make sense. Well, that's good for us then. Should be able to tame it. Good. So, um, yeah, we'll keep taming it. We'll start taming it, so. Be right back once he's tamed, I suppose. Or once he gets killed by that Giga over oh, well, there. Find another one then. <laughs> and we're back with war. 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 <laughs> nah, 
Raw, our level 188 Utyranus. So, um, we found him at level 145 and he tamed out at 188 due to the piranha attack um, as pretty much as soon as we knocked it out. So, he would be around about 200 if that piranha didn't attack him. But, anyway, we've still got him and he looks awesome. He's mainly black and he's got a bit of brown and then he's just got this awesome looking light blue cyan coloured stripe going straight from his head to his tail and it looks amazing, I have to admit. So, um, yeah, I'll show you his stats and then show you some of his abilities and compare him to size and all that. So, so first, he has, we haven't upgraded anything into him, he turned out at 188, so he has 6,600 health, 1,806 stamina, 750 weight, 289 melee damage and 100 movement speed which isn't terribly bad health and damage could be a bit higher although health's, health's not heaps bad it's damage that sort of falters there but anyway so um this guy has two different or more than two different attacks three different attacks or only one of them is really an attack the other two are abilities so Left click is just for your normal bite attack. So, it's basically just where he rears back and bites forwards. And there's not much to that one. It does does a bit of damage. I'll go back to base after and test out how much damage it actually does. But the two other main things are actually his abilities. So he has two abilities. Right click, which is your fleeing roar which makes any um any dinosaurs or creatures that's about the same size maybe a tiny bit bigger than you tyrannus run away in fear even if a player's riding it and the second roar buffs allied dinosaurs in the area of the roar so first i'm going to test the um the fear roar so if i take this triceratops he should come after me so yeah, he's trying to kill me, and if I right click, he does this awesome roar, and this bar comes up at the top. So I've got to keep roaring to get that bar all the way up, and now that he's got that purple aura around him, and the red line, it means that he's in fear. So he'll just run away for a while, and when the fear's done, I think he either comes back or just keeps, just like, doesn't bother to attack you. But... It lasts for a while and it is pretty effective, especially when players are on it. I've tested it on a Diplo and it takes about maybe four or five roars on a Diplo. I'm not sure if you can get anything bigger than that. Or I did try it on a T-Rex and a Bronto, but it didn't work on either of those things. So I'm probably thinking, I'm thinking that um, the Diplo is the biggest you can get. So And the second roar is his buff ally roar. So you press C. And it buffs the allies, so they get an aura around them. And the same with the bigger dinosaurs. You have to roar multiple times to get it all the way up. And that means it will, like, fully buff him. So, you get they when when it's fully up, they get a plus 25% attack bonus. And, um, and resistances as well. So, I'll quickly hop off of raw and hop on black stripe. And if I press H in the top right, it says courage plus 25% damage output and increased resistance. So it does make quite, dif quite a difference, which I'll show you when we get back to base. But first, I'll show you the size of the Utyranus. So, I've got the two closest things that we had in our base for his size. So, the Kano and the T-Rex. So the Kano is quite a bit smaller than him. And the T-Rex is a bit larger than him. But I reckon he matches up to a T-Rex a bit better. And I can show you if I go out into K-Mode. The T-Rex is just a bit bigger. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, I'll take, um... I should just be able to leave Black Stripe and, um, Mrs. Scott here. I'll just go up to the base and show you... Or actually, I will need Black Stripe. Right, Black Stripe's following me. So I'm gonna go back to base and actually test how much damage this guy does and how whoa <laughs> How much 
how much how much increased damage um, the T-Rex has when he's been fully buffed. So I'll just go for it through our entrance bit here. And I'll bring him over to our our um, training dummy. Right, I'll just get the T-Rex off following and wow he's inside the Utahranus. Right. Let, just let me close the gate. Oh, oh he's following the Utahranus, that's why. So first we'll test the damage of the Utahranus. So um he has he has pretty low damage. Um it's not the greatest, but I'll show you. So so he does 2,448 damage, which isn't heaps bad, but he has to stop and rear back for his attack, which means he can't attack heaps often. And then, so, that was like 2,400, and the T-Rex does 5,000, so there's a pretty big dam difference in damage. But you got to remember, the T-Rex is quite a bit higher level than the... Um, the the Utahranus and he has been imprinted as well. Alright, now, time to test the Utahranus' ability. So, I've just got to check how much damage the T-Rex did again. I've already forgotten. <laughs> That's how bad I am. So, it does 5,536. And then, I'll hop on our Utahranus and fully buff him up, pressing C. So, he's about halfway. Two more roars. Alright, one more. Or I'll actually do it twice more. So when the bar gets fully up, he should be buffed. Yeah, so I'll just roll one more so it lasts longer. Alright, there we go. Now, let me hop on Black Stripe and test the damage. So 5,536, 6,920. So it is a pretty big buff. So it went from about... 5,500 or 5,300 to about 7,000 damage. So if, if this was in battle, that would be very effective. And just to show you how many dinosaurs he actually does with each roar, he's already done all of our trikes and our stegos. And if I just look this way, he did all of our T-Rexes, the rhinos, the thylers up there, and the turtles. So... The roar is pretty effective. So I reckon what you're going to want to pump with these guys is just health and damage. So I'm going to try and get his health to about maybe 9,000 and then just get, just do, I'm just going to do damage from there on. So I think the Utahranus is going to be more of a support um, dinosaur than a full on attack. But if you upgrade it enough and try and form it to be an attack dinosaur as well, then you could possibly use it for attacking as well. But I reckon it's more for a support support dinosaur to help your main attackers. So yeah, I don't think there's much else to um much else about the Utahranus. I think that's about it. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video please do leave a like and if you've got any feedback put it in the comment section down below. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye!